time when James Whitcomb Riley, ticking, ticking, ticking of a clock that vexed me so last night, while time keeps such a drowsy watch a moaned, he never sleeps with only nods with a world to mock its restless occupant and lady rock and as the cradle of a babe that weeps. I seem to see the second piled in heaps like sand about me, and every shock of a bell of the piled sands has whirled away as by a desert storm it swept the earth. As dark as the granary floor, where on the grey and mist the drizzled moon amidst the dearth came crawling like a sickly child to lay its pale face next to mine own and weep for day. Wait for the morning hour, we wait indeed for daylight, or trust about a through stress of vacant arm desires and emptiness of all the warm, warm touches which we need, and warm kisses upon which we feed our famished lips and fancy. May God bless the stuffed lips of us, for but one carries a warmest yearning blood our poor hearts bleed. A wild prayer, by the pillow, praying so, toss the side and whirl it, and moan for dawn. And the clock's second dribble out of the woe, and time be drained of sorrow. Long ago we heard the crowing clock with answer drawn, as hoarsely said, as throat as sobs, pray on.